Okay. So, show of hands, how many here have ever had relatives who have, who have ever had a job that you thought was the coolest job in the world? Raise those hands. How many of you had uh, relatives like that? All right, good. For me, my, as you know, my grandpa Charlie worked for the, the BNSF Railway, and so did my grandpa Lewis. And so to me, those were the coolest jobs in the universe. And so today I'm going to tell you the history on the Burlington Northern State, and Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, in which a lot of you have asked me what the, what the initials have, of the company meant in the surveys, so that's what it means. But before we get, before we get started, I picked this video up off of YouTube from uh, BNSF's uh, YouTube account, which is a nice little advertisement. Now we come to what we know today. Oh, and also 
How many of you knew that they had clocks? Because I didn't. Whenever I was running around on uh, the internet looking up images for Santa Fe, I came across this and I thought, I never knew they had clocks for themselves. I think that's good merchandising. Let's move on to Burlington Northern Santa Fe. To this day, this is what Burlington Northern's railway looks like. Stretches over a good vast amount, amount of the country. And it was established in September, September 21st, 1995. It merged with, it merged with Santa Fe, as the last bit of the name uh, describes. Uh, but it wasn't official until December 1st, 96. I uh, don't know if it had, had to deal with whole you know, corridors or, or what, but who knows how long it took, who knows why it takes so long for mergers to be, become official. Um, it, to this day, it's still a freight network. It doesn't really do much of any hauling passengers anymore. Um, it is the second, according, according to uh, BNSF and Wikipedia, it is the second largest freight network in the country, second only to Union Pacific. And it's the top transport, it is the top transportation corporation for freight in the US. In 1999, they had originally planned to merge with the Canadian National Railway, but because, but because the Surface Transportation Board had put a Uh, moratorium, I believe it's called. I'm not exactly sure what that is, uh, but they put but they put one of those on all mergers, which caused the merging of these two companies to cease. So the railway stayed the way it is today. Now, now that we've gotten on, oh, before I move on, this is one of their this is this is one of their newer ones behind in the back. And in the front, this is one of their older ones when the when the railway first started out. Sometimes when you're driving along on the highway, you can see these as you go as they go by. My grand my grandfathers worked for this company for a good share of their lives. If you ask them, they can tell you stories about this railway and their experiences. It continues to haul freight to this day and to wherever it's needed. I hope you get now you can see why BNSF is the is really it really is the engine that connects us.